three set pieces. We've conceded three set pieces tonight. So obviously switching off at the wrong times. Um, that we know they have good delivery with Brimo or Davidson. But uh, yeah, I think uh, all the games have caught up with us, mate. They, we looked uh, very tired tonight. Yeah. Yeah, we knew we obviously couldn't make the finals, but we wanted to try. You know, obviously we only got back Wednesday from from Vietnam, so it was a short turnaround for us. But um, we wanted to try and, and get a win in the obviously our last home game here at Cogra. Um, obviously, it didn't happen tonight. You know, we got back into the game at one-one, and then. You know, uh, scored a great free kick over the wall, and then another set piece, and another set piece. So, um, yeah, it just wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough tonight. We weren't. What did you make of their opening goal as well? Degasino sort of made that one out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, he did. Um, obviously, he did really well. But you know, I think uh, defensively we were we were a little bit uh, poor there. Yeah, there's a bit of work to do, obviously, defensively there. But uh, he finished it well, but uh, yeah, we didn't defend at all well to, tonight. There's a lot of work to do overall for the team at the pub. It um, mm. feels like the end of an era for so many players. Um, what, what do you think it's going to take to sort of bridge the gap between where you are now and where teams like Victory and City at their best are? Because they, they've, they've managed to put a few past you this season. Yeah, um, it's all about just getting the recruitment right for next season. Obviously, we we know obviously Bobo's leaving, but there'll be a few others as well leaving. So um, yeah, it's about getting the recruitment right for for next season and making sure we bring in the right players. Um, you know, there's still a lot of good players out there, uh, even though they they are very tired. It's uh, it's been a very tough year for I suppose everyone, but. Uh, you know, it's made it even difficult going to to the ACL as well. You know, you you don't know how difficult it was. Eight, you know, six games in 18 days with the conditions that we had over there is very tough. So, with a with a small squad, but um, you know, that's what we want to be involved in the Champions League. And you know, it's it's it w it'll be a bonus uh, in the end. You know, there's a lot of gaining experience for these young boys that played over there. And um, next season, you know, it's fresh, new start. Um, New stadium as well, which is going to be fantastic, and it's all about just making sure that we get the right players to come in and and to keep uh, moving forward. Obviously, you know, this is probably my most disappointing time as as a coach. Obviously, the last three three years have been very very good for us, um, but you know, we all got to take responsibility, um, myself included, and, and the players, and make sure we come back better next year. What have you learned through this season, Steve? Because you obviously your first couple was very successful, you know, not too many speed bumps throughout this year, mm. there's been quite a lot. What have yeah. you learned about, I guess, your, your, your management style and your coaching? Yeah, no, I think, you know, you, you'll have a good look, I'll have a good look after the last game, which is against Brisbane, we've still got one more game to go, so um, I need a holiday, I know that much, um, just to have a real good thing about the season, but yeah, you know, we like I said, three, three, the last three years we made grand finals, so the, it's been fantastic, great obviously start to my coaching career but um, yeah obviously this one you, I suppose it's difficult to win them all mate so to make grand finals every year but you know that's what we expect of this club and you know and this that's why this year was so disappointing so um, but again I'll just uh, wait till the end of the season have a good think about it obviously like I said there's a lot of work to do in the off season so um, yeah I need to come back fresh and you know, get get the obviously the recruitment right. Sounds like you're expecting to be here next season, Steve. I think mean, you're off contract, but I'm sure you'd be aware that there are some fans who question whether you're the right person for the job. Um, three three grand finals in three years. Yeah. Listen, um, you know they've all got their say. Um, yeah, I agree. This year's been disappointing, but um, yeah, I think uh, in four years, I think I've done pretty well. Signed a contract for next season? Is that decided? Not yet. No. Um, yeah, so we'll see um, after the last game what, what happens. Stephen, as you drive away tonight, which might be the last time you leave Cobra, what's your overwhelming feeling of playing an exile around the state here in Cobra? Well, obviously, Cogra has been good to us in the first three years. It's been, you know, it's been a good stadium. Um, you know, the crowds have been good here as well. It's been a good little atmosphere in, in the stadium. So. Um, yeah, of course, um, you know, it's been four, four years now, but we're, we're looking forward to going back to, obviously, Allianz next season, 
new stadium. Um, it's going to be fantastic, and yeah, we're looking forward to that. I think everyone's obviously, you know, looking forward to it getting back to the new stadium. Yeah, I think so. Obviously, uh, we've got fans everywhere over Sydney, um, so and it's obviously helped being here for for the South people. So. Um, but yeah, I think being being central in the city and at Allianz, it's uh, bring everyone back together. Anything from Anna or Nick in Melbourne? Just one last one on that um, with the stadium, Steve. Um, that's Steve, by the way. Just um, uh, will it be good to get, I guess, that sense of stability and feeling like you're, you're locked in home-wise for the, I guess, for the long term? Yeah, like. You know, this has been great. We've 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 enjoyed our time here, but you know, our, our stadium's always been at Allianz, and you know, obviously, it's taken quite a while to get it get it done. Four years out of there, so um, I've only ever coached here, so um, it'd be nice to to go to the new stadium uh, next season and and uh, obviously get back on track.